Hello Internet. In this video, I will show you how I transform this ugly concrete pad into this using Spread Rock by Daesh. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. Whether it's working on a car, a daily driver or a project car, or a project around the yard or a home improvement project, all of my do-it-yourself projects begin here in my garage. Scott's Garage is a place for do-it-yourselfers. Welcome to my channel. Before I show you how, please know that this deck was a project I did a year ago. Uh, see the card above for that project. Kind of a unique project. Uh, I basically poured the entire thing uh, using a small electric mixer and doing it in a very unconventional way. Uh, but I was never satisfied with the surface. Uh, therefore, I wanted to improve it. And that's what this video is all about. Okay, I want to walk around here and show you how I prepared this for the primer. Now, you should follow the directions from Daesh. If you have not done a self-edging or an acid wash, you should do that. I, I did that a, a year ago. I also ground it down with a, with a grinder. Uh, there were some expansion joints. I took those out and I filled them in with self-leveling concrete. And also there were just other areas that weren't completely level that I filled in with self-leveling uh, concrete. I just wanted to make it as level as possible. Uh, the, you can see some of the aggregate coming out here, which is totally fine. Uh, it, it, the primer should stick quite well to that. You can also see the, the joints here. So I poured one section of the slab at a time. It dried, you know, I poured it up right next to it and, and you can see the lines here. Uh, they will become the artificial grout lines for the surface here. And overall, it's very clean and just want to make sure, you know, as clean as possible. So I'll about, be about ready here to spray the primer. Um, also, the original pad was not level, so I have some self-leveling concrete on there as well. But it is ready now for the Daesh primer. I bought five gallons of the gray. The primer contains some silica sand, I believe. And I chose to paint the joints first. And after uh, doing that, then to, to roll the rest of the surface uh, with a, just, a, just a plain uh, roller. I could dip it right into the five gallon uh, bucket as I went. And it was enough uh, to do two wet coats. So two coats of the primer over the entire uh, surface, which is what they recommend. I have a separate video on the primer. According to Dice, there are three methods for applying the spread rock. You can trowel it on, squeegee it on, or use an air hopper. And I've chosen to use this air hopper. Uh, this particular one is sold on Amazon. Very reasonable price. It gets four out of five stars. And because of the 45 degree neck that joins the cup to the gun, you can spray the ground. And you can see the affiliate link below in the description. Also, the card above, I have a separate review a video on this gun. It comes with several nozzles and for this application I'm using the largest one. It's eight millimeter and it's the cone shape and it will it will texture the ground well. The next step is to apply the spread rock. It's it's very unique material. It's not paint. Uh, there it's very fine granite and it's mixed with a with a very sticky substance. This is water based but it's really hard to get off your hands and the first thing you need to do is is to mix it thoroughly. I use my Harbor Freight concrete mixer. I love that concrete mixer. It mixes paint and concrete and other things. It's very heavy duty. See the affiliate link below uh, for this. I also chose to experiment on the far end of the patio uh, to come up with my technique for the rest of it. Uh, I'll show you how to lay the, the grout tape later in this video. But this was an experiment for me. It, it turned out really well, I thought, just for the first application. Uh, I sprayed it uh, mist and then troweled it. Um, I changed the method though. I resprayed this with more texture later, uh, which I will show you. Uh, but again, this uh, was the experimental phase since I had not done it before. Okay, I want to talk now about the Daesh Groutline Stencil Tape, as it's called. Uh, it's, it's quite strong tape. It has fiberglass running throughout and it's very thin. It's only a quarter inch thick. It also comes at a premium. I originally ordered through Home Depot and it took two months uh, to get the supplies and the tape never arrived. And so I kind of panicked a little bit. I had to order special on eBay because Dice was out of it from, from their vendor. 
And I paid $27 for this roll of tape that's 60 yards in total length. I messed up. I, I taped all of the lines that I wanted to tape, uh, the joints, and then it rained for like two or three days and, and, and the tape came loose and so I had to pull it up. So I called Dice and they still didn't have the tape in stock. They recommended ordering other tape, so I did. I ordered this automotive tape that's also a quarter inch wide. And we'll see if it's as good as the Dice. I have my doubts about that, uh, but we'll give it a try. So here I am applying the tape. Make sure you push down and you get it firmly established and in place on one side. And then obviously roll it out. Um, you, can, you can roll it great uh, lengths. Again, it's very strong tape with fiberglass in there. Uh, make sure obviously the sticky side is down and you know pull to the other side and you know, make sure it's lined up. If it's not quite lined up, you can lift up a little bit and reposition it. Don't stretch it though. Don't pull the tape. I made that mistake. Uh, it will eventually pull loose, so don't do that. It's meant to just be taunt and secure it on the other end. And then simply uh, go back as I'm doing here and simply push down with your fingertips, push it into the, the primer. It'll be very secure then. Two more long rolls and I basically ran out of the good tape. And I'm using now that automotive yellow tape. Um, as I suspected, it wasn't nearly as good and I started to figure out here that it started pulling up on the ends. I come up with a solution here, which you'll see. So my solution was to, to double up on it, especially at the intersections there. Just figured that the yellow tape would stick better to the yellow tape. Um, but as it turned out, that, that still didn't work that well. So I, I got some blue masking tape. It wasn't quarter inch, but I used a cutting board and a ruler and cut it into quarter inch strips. And that worked really well. That uh, pushed down on everything and locked it in place. I also used that method to, to retape the grout lines from what I had already done because I was going to respray everything with uh, even texture across. Okay, so I started at the far end. I mixed it first of all and developed a, uh, just a little more texture, more randomness in it. Really like how, how it turned out. I was able to do two coats. I think I only show one here in the video, but I was able to texture everything uh, twice and just make it uh, even. I used uh, circular patterns as I did so. Here I'm mixing uh, some more, uh, another five gallon bucket. Oh, here's the second coat here, as you see. Um, it, it sets up pretty quickly to the point where you can safely walk on it. And I am now doing the, the main patio. Um, and I think likewise here, I just show you spraying it once. I knocked over the camera when I got to the corner here, but I was able to put another coat on. Now here it's dried after about four hours and I'm pulling up the, 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 the tape. And you can see here, this was the blue tape that was just the regular masking tape. Um, and, but it, it pulled right up and I eventually just worked my way across. Um, so I used the original joints where the, the concrete was, was you know, poured next to each other and it worked really well for the, the grout lines. And, and now this is the, you know, the finished product. I love uh, being able to take away the masking plastic and tape. And as I looked at the, the job, I was very pleased. I have a separate video on kind of my analysis of of spread rock and, and the primer. Uh, see the, the card uh, above, uh, but here again, just removing everything. Uh, there, there was a little bit of overspray that accumulated some sand in a corner, so I'm simply just sweeping it off uh, right here. Just getting it ready for the sealer. Okay, we're gonna seal it with Bare Premium Low Luster Sealer. Low gloss. Okay, rolling the sealer on was, was like trying to seal sandpaper. So the first coat was not easy, uh, but the second coat was great. And I was able to put two full coats on every section uh, of it. it. Definitely holds the sand down and just a much softer finish to walk on. Okay, here's the final result from ugly to this. I'm very satisfied with this. My wife absolutely loves it. I would highly recommend Spread Rock. 
I have a separate video though. I have a re review of it, both pros and cons, and there are a few cons, but I'll let you look at that in the description below. It's nice to have a functioning, working patio again, and looking forward to having guests over and just spending time in the evenings on this deck. If you got any value at all from this video, please hit like. It costs you nothing, but is of great value to me. At the time of this video, I have about 4,300 subscribers. When I when I reach 5,000, it's time to celebrate uh, with a gift card giveaway. It's a $50 gift card giveaway, random drawing for the video, random drawing for the, uh, the comment. So two things, hit the like button and leave a comment. That's it. You have great odds. And have a great day.